Well, we're in the late morning of day three here. Um, I've already started working a little bit, but I just came back from a trip to the hardware store. So let me show you what I've done so far this morning. I started to open up the walls this morning. So you can see here, I've managed to cut open a fairly decent sized chunk of the, of the uh, wall at the bottom. I'm gonna just basically carry that onto the corner. And then I believe I'm also gonna open up this wall since this is the back side of where the electrical box is. So I'll probably go ahead and open this, this section up right here on this wall. And then I still need to see what's going on behind the wall here. Yeah, um, you can see a few of the supplies I just got back from the, uh, the hardware store, well, the building supply store, and uh, just picked up myself the, the uh, copper tubing for the water uh, supply line for the ice maker, which has to go into the wall, up over the ceiling, and down to where those pipes are. So I ended up having to get 35 feet to give me enough slack once I'm done and get all the way up and over. So that ought to be interesting. And a couple more cutting wheels. These have been real handy to basically what I've been doing is cutting, using the cutting wheel to cut through the plaster at the uh, the level that I want to open it up. And it turns out that, and, and then peel it back. And then it turns out that section, they must have been doing some renovation or repair work at some point because this section right here, as you can see in the back, is actually plaster over wallboard, which is a common technique where you buy, um, there's a plaster backing board that uses essentially the first coat of a, of a plaster job, and it has the little holes. You can see the, uh, you can see the, uh, the surface plaster keyed through the holes in the board so that it uh, will stick and hold in there. And so part of the job has been that, which is real easy to remove, and then the rest of the job has used uh, the metal lath here. And I'm going to show you a couple of chunks of that that I've pulled off. So you can see the metal lath and how the, the plaster keys through that. But when you work with plaster that way, you have to actually um, trowel on all the coats of the plaster. When you use the board, basically the base coats of the plaster work are the, uh, the plaster board itself. So it saves you a couple of layers of plastering, speeds things up. But um, that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to do a little more cleanup and finish covering the refrigerator with more and more plastic so that it stays nice and new. And uh, then back to work. I got a lot of a lot of work chiseling out the chiseling out the channels and the openings for that water supply line pipe. So that'll keep me busy the rest of the day. I'll uh, be back with a little more video at the end of the day to show my progress.